As you know, we have plenty of coffee tables at kathysmarketplace.com. So I thought for this Shop with Focus segment, I would give you some tips on how to dress up that coffee table in your living room. So the first thing that you need to consider, as I always say, is start from the ground on up. So consider what type of table you have. And here in front of me, I have a wood coffee table that's very dark. It's ebony in color. Okay, so you first need to consider the color, the style, the texture, all of that and then layer on up from there. So the first item that I want to show you is here I have this, this adorable white porcelain uh, ceramic elephant and what this does, it just gives sort of a freshness to this coffee table. The white just pops off, the style of the elephant really goes nicely with the style of the clean lines in this Asian inspired table. So that works very nicely and I wanted to show you something that you can get in our marketplace to have a little bit of that same sort of effect. I found this beautiful Protea plant and uh, this was $160. It's now only $45 and it's going to give you that same sort of freshness because it's the white is sort of, you know, kind of island Asian inspired and it's very affordably priced. So let's move on to the next point that I want to make. And that is more about the texture. So here, as you can see, I've got these candlesticks and we're still staying in the cream color. So I didn't change the color, but I changed the texture. However, the texture, unlike the elephant, doesn't pop off the table. Now you don't always have to have it pop off the table, but what does really make a difference is the texture of it. We went from the smooth to the more um, carved wood that we have over here. So it's really a matter of personal taste, but if you do go with something like this, obviously each one of these, you're, you're gonna wanna pair it with other items. Now, from our marketplace, going along that same vein, mixing textures and mixing woods, because this is a different type of wood, I found this framed Buddha statue, which would also look really nice on this coffee table. And I know you're thinking, but Kathy, that's a light brown wood. This is a dark ebony wood. It's okay. All you have to do, remember, is tying it in with your layering and repetition by tying this type of wood in somewhere else in the living room. And another great idea is the metal that's in the Buddha. Have that metal tied in in a little someplace else, maybe in your side table or little metal flecks in your, um, in your um, pillows right behind you. So that's the way you bring it all together. And finally, the last point that I want to bring in is the color. I was talking about white. I love white and cream off of a very dark color. But don't forget color, 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 right? We've got over here this, uh, this red um, silk arrangement. Um, the canister here, again, it's a different texture. We've got the metal that pops really nicely off of the table. And then you've got that burst of vibrant red that's going to add that color to your space. And again, remember to tie that red in with something else in your room and it all works beautifully. So I hope that helps you dress up your coffee table in your own space. And the last thing I want to leave you with is some exciting news. We are going to be opening up Kathy's Marketplace showroom. We're looking at February and we're collecting inventory right now. So if you have some really incredible items that maybe you have uploaded or maybe you haven't because you don't want to do it that way. You want us to potentially sell it for you. Be sure to contact us at Kathy's Market friends at kathysmarketplace.com and we may be able to help you sell and showcase your items. So stay tuned to our website because we're going to have lots more details for you in the coming weeks and we'll see you next time as we continue to Shop with Focus.